Hi, Anna. I'm here at 828 Bancroft. Uh, this is a three bedroom, two bath, 1500 square foot uh, rental. So it's really large. Um, the one thing to note is it is on a busy street here. This is Bancroft, so cars are going pretty fast. Uh, so obviously um, out here, it's uh, very loud, but when you go inside the house, it's not as bad, but it's definitely noticeable. So I'll try to take some video so you can hear. Um, but overall, um, it's uh, probably a little bit more space than you need, um, but it does have a really large uh, yard for jazz, which is great. So here, you can hear those cars going by. Um, but if you remember from the first video that I sent, which was actually that Arinda uh, condo, uh, I move and walk pretty fast, but at any point while the video is playing, you can look up, down, left, right on YouTube, dragging your mouse uh, to view angles, and then uh, you can pause. Again, if I'm going too fast, uh, pause the video, and you'll be able to, uh, again, view all angles from wherever uh, you pause it at. So I'll take a, uh, some footage outside in the yard, but first let's go through the house. Um, again, it's a long house, ranch style. Here's the formal living room um, with the fireplace. Um, on the right side of the house are the uh, or two bedrooms, and on the left side um, is uh, a single bedroom. Um, so why don't we go to the left here towards the kitchen and the dining area. Um, so good sized kitchen. Um, some inconsistent flooring throughout the house. Not sure how particular it will be since it is a rental, but worth noting, um, it does look like uh, the left side of the house was an addition um, just because it's on a different level or there's a couple stairs. Um, so right here in the kitchen, let's take a quick look here. Lots of space, cabinet space, um, gas stove. And just to check here, so what's included, uh, and they actually are requiring one year lease, so I don't know how you feel about that. Um, but let's see here, tenant pays for utilities and garbage. So that's one, uh, additional expense, um, that you will need to factor in, um, some of the leases it's all included. Um, but this one you would have to pay on your own. Okay. So that's the kitchen. And then here's a laundry room. So you have a combo here, dryer on top, washer on the bottom. Um, but it's inside the house, which is nice, not in the garage. Uh, let's see, yeah, this is the heater, water heater, um, some storage. Okay, and then we'll uh, start on the left side of the house. This would be more of your formal family room. Um, as you can see, they have some built-ins here. Uh, so this is uh, most likely we'll, you will have the um, TV, etc. And I'm gonna just stand right here so you can hear some of the noise inside of the house from the street. So, it is pretty noticeable inside of the house. Um, not sure about the insulation in here, but uh, uh, definitely noticeable because you right are you are right along the road. Okay, so then here is the first bedroom. Uh, really small. Um, this could actually be like a room for jazz. And uh, let's see here. Yeah, this is the yard back here. So we'll go out there in a bit. But um, this is a small room uh, connected to a door here outside. Get the yard, so we'll get there in a bit. Um, but here's the first full bathroom, so there's two of them. Nothing too spectacular, but uh, overall in good condition. And actually, since I'm out here, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the yard. Jazzy's yard, very really big. Not that much um, grass, actually. Uh, so there's two sides of the yard, got a ton of play, uh, space to play. And then the second half of the yard here. So that side's all dirt and this is bark. So if Jazz needs to have um, grass, it could be an issue. 
a lot of space out here. And actually, this might be part of the property too, this area back here. Again, mostly dirt. But as you can see, again, I keep on saying it. Jazz is gonna have a pretty large area to play outside. All right, so I'm gonna go back inside and see the rest of the house. So we are on the left wing, and so now we'll go to the right wing, which is where the other two bedrooms are in the master. Okay, so we're moving along through the kitchen. Big living room. And then the two other rooms here. Okay, so this will be most likely the master bedroom. This is the largest room. Here's a walk-in closet. Um, so, pretty good size, pretty deep. And then, what's odd is that this is a Jack and Jill, and it'll just be used in here, but both of the rooms here connect to this um, master bathroom. So, looks like this vanity is new. So uh, again, Jack and Jill, it connects to the other bedroom, uh, the final third bedroom, this one's really small. So you have what could be your master bedroom, um, and then this could be your office, and then that third room with, with the tile could be Jazz's room inside, and then Jazz has the entire backyard. Okay, so that's it. Uh, we can go take a peek at the garage. Uh, actually, is there a garage? No, there actually isn't a garage because this was a converted garage. Yeah, so there is no garage here. Because um, this formerly was a garage, I thought it was an addition, but um, well, it is, but it was a converted garage. All right, so I'll just give you a closer look at the parking. Uh, actually, now I understand. That could be a carport, <laughs> but it's not paved. Um, so I would, probably wouldn't do that, um, but you have this full driveway here. But again, I'm not sure how you like the car just being parked out here. Uh, along the major uh, road here on Bancroft. Uh, okay, so I will send this video to you and then let me know what you think. Again, it's uh, three bedrooms, two baths, 1,500 square feet. Uh, it actually is a decent location. Uh, you can get to both Pleasant Hill BART and uh, Walnut Creek BART. Um, and it's a one year lease at 2,900 per month. Okay, thanks, Anna. I'll talk to you soon.